So good evening. Shh. May wonder be wondering where I am. I've been in this spot before. Um, this is the spot near it's near the Obsidian Citadel. It's right down the road, one can say, from where you're showing more chop with the world breakers. It's where right next to the guy who gives you the um, Scarpy World Snail now. Um, why am I here? Because yesterday in the vaults, I found a like the kitty cat's being bad again. Um, Nelvarian's toolkit. Now, I think I've used this before to repair a waygate in the Siskara vaults, but my understanding is there was no waygate in the Siskara school. So the scare vaults to repair yesterday. So I was like, well, what do I do with this? Do I just hold on to it? Um, do I do the vaults again and use it there? And then someone mentioned, and I remember it, there was this broken vault in this cave. Can't do anything with it. But it looked like it could. Well, as it turns out, you supposedly can. And... Clyde might be a problem this evening again. Um, now, my initial problem right here, right now, is um, everyone in the cave is hostile to me. Um, so I have to see if I could pull this off without... I mean, I could probably do, do what a rogue does best and... Uh, sap. <laughs> and be sneaky to eliminate the potential threats. Um, this one over here, the vendor's not gonna do anything to me. So I'm not worried about that. And I think the other one is far enough away that I can do this. So I have a feeling that once I start repairing it, I'm gonna become visible. So I may get aggro. But we'll see. If I have to kill them first, that will do that. Oh, there's stacks of fragile here. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> Where is it? It's behind us. I don't like that. Sorry. Right, stop. stop, cat. He's gotten treats, so he shouldn't be bothering me like this. All right. Just do what I want to keep out of my hair. Oops. <laughs> See? I mean, I could also give him a key, become friendly, do all that stuff, but eh. <laughs> this is more fun. So, let's see what happens. <sighs> I have my um, herbalism cure. Let's try, uh, I'm gonna wait for that one to pass. See what happens. I've repaired the broken way gate. I am on fire. And I'm going somewhere. Where am I going to show up? Where am I going to pop up? And also, that was that was rather voidy, wasn't it? It was rather purpley and voidy. Huh. Let's see, where am I going to end up? Any day now. Come on, cat, stop. Well, I'm at the Scara Vaults, but this is, looks like it might be one of those rooms that's often sealed off. Let me see on the map. I'm, I'm in the Forbidden Reach. Okay, let's see. 
That's a dragon. Skeleton. I need to get home. Too far away. Um. Oh, come on, just I. <laughs> the other one went down so fast. It's a nice pet, though. On a hunter, it's a nice spider pet. So let's look here. Um, we've got some. I know, I see the chest. We've got some uh, broken black dragon eggs. We have one here. That one's like it's been chipped into. Must be, that, that could be the spiders, but we were no black and dragon egg when we see one. So these spiders must have been chomping on this. Also, would make a nice, an awesome pet. I don't know if they're tameable. I couldn't tell you. But this is a. This is like a full grown dragon in here. These walls telling you anything? Mosaics. Nope. So, uh. Let's go see what's in this chest. What I'm wondering is, do I still have that? I still have, I still have the repair kit. Um, if that, ha if that way gate, well, um, let's see what happens first. Let's open up this chest see what we get. Oh, cool. Um, I mean, the rest is typical vault stuff, but the renewed protodrake antlers is a nice uh, customization. Cool, I'll take it. Um, now, how we get out of here, I guess we go through this door here, right here. Just anything else in here we want to look at before we go through this door? You're def and you're outside the vault, so you're back to, yeah, all right. So, interesting. Um, it doesn't put you inside a vault doesn't put you inside the vault, it just kind of puts you in a weird room inside the vault and then zips you out to another area. But since we're in the vault, um, I forget how hard There's difficult it is to get to this room, scale. but the other thing I want to do tonight, I mean that I have planned to do tonight, uh, is I'm going to explore, um, now I don't know if it's because I'm a night elf, or what. But I've noticed a consistent thing in this, this expansion that I, I don't know if it's come up elsewhere or at any other point. Um, That chest is still eludes me because I don't have a key for it. It's fine. I'm gonna live without it. Mostly here to get one thing. Don't have a target. Um. And just assume that that key does not exist. I mean, I cleared this all out yesterday. I do want to put a marker here for these two. So I can get a screenshot later. Um, I do want this. And I'm hoping This room I'm trying to get to. That's the room of scrolls. But let me just make sure it's not this room yet. Oh, it actually, it's right here. So, unknown statuary. Unknown statuary. 
unknown statuary. Which, you know, you hear unknown statuary and it just makes it more suspicious. Like, rather than just have the statue and have you wonder, what well, is the Night Elf statue in here? Because it's not the only place there's a Night Elf statue. There's another place in here as well. Um, but why not name this one? And this one in particular, you know, I'm willing to make a guess is Ashara. Additional clues making this interesting is there's barnacles on this statue. This statue was fished up from the ocean. So, which makes it even more curious, but it, it, it has, it looks like it has barnacles like it was fished up from the ocean, which is weird. And this is also the room that has the weird fetal dragon thing, maybe? It's floating, it's been floating there for 10,000 years? What the hell? Um, yeah. Okay, so like, yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Um, with this. Um, there's another example of this statue here. I don't think that one actually says unknown statuary, but I know it's in the room with the opera, the aspects. So I'm going to look for that room. It, it, no, it's not in that room. It's the other room with statues in it. Cat. So I'm going to look for that room. Hope, hopefully I hit it quickly. I'm right back in the same room I just left. I know clearly you want me to stay here, but we can't have it. We have to, we have to, I will spend all day trying to find this other room. That's, no, it's the room where the weapons are going to attack me. So I'm just going to back out. It's not this room. I promise I'm not going to spend. Is this room? No, that's, that's, um, that's not it. It's got statues in it, but it has a variety of statues in it. So that's what I'm looking for. And I'm hoping it sends me to that one relatively quickly. Come on, just give me this one room. Ah, I found it. Yes. Okay. So here, there's also in this room another statue. This one's different. It's harder to see. Um, but it doesn't. It's not. It ha, it has a different pose. But let's see. It's got a crescent moon on it. A match your standard night elf imagery. Does it look like this also may have been fished up from the sea, though? Possibly. These, this statue, this version of the statue, appears elsewhere. One of the other places it appears is in Adventure Guide. Where are we? Yay. Okay. Um, dungeons. Is in Neltharis. Uh, looking here is not going to help. Um, but after the battle after Warlord Sarga, um, in that area, there is definitely... Oh, good, I have the thing actually light up the room. That might help. Um, in that room, there's one, a stat, one of the statues, this statue. But, oh wait, oh no, no, so I can find out who that is. That's Forgotten Statue, Parkesian. But you can't find out, 
Yeah, it's a Mogu statue, Dusty statue. Oh, Gigi! That's the crane, the red crane. Which is interesting. He has, um, now Thuring was collected a statue of the red crane, but it's from Pandaria. So he was definitely aware of Pandaria, but I, yeah, that he would have, I get he would have been. Um, broken Mogu statue. And broken, what, um, lost Strathic idol. That's definitely looks like a mantid. Mantid. So we've got yeah, we've got like the Pandaria section in here actually because we've got Mogu, Gigi, and what looks like one of the the mantids. But then we have this Night Elf statue, which again looks like it was fished up from the ocean. Looks like it may have been, if not Ashara someone close to Ashara, but he's, you know, this is the second incidence of a statue of a night elf in here. And yes, are they one of the oldest peoples in Azeroth? Absolutely. Um, so not unusual to collect statues, but it, that's not what, what has me wondering what's what. Um, it's that, and the statue being in multiple places, and yes, it is common to reuse assets in game design and environmental design um it just saves money and time when there's there's no reason to put and and i just happen to land right in front of this again so i just want to do want to do a comparison i don't know what of i think like the feet are like the, this one is i mean i'm gonna put my money this right here is definitely a shara there's just something about it the stance the expression i wish you could get up higher to see that expression that just, everything about it just screams Ashara. Um, so, I'm going to say that's probably Ashara. Um, I don't know if the other one is, too. But that's the one that I've seen in other, other rooms. Like, I don't, I'm not going to go and do... Um, I can't remember the freaking name of the dungeon. I'm not going to do um, Neltharis tonight just to confirm which statue is at the end of that dungeon, but I'm pretty sure it's the other one, not this not this one. And it's just kind of thrown with the gold and all the riches in the room. He was a hoarder. Um, <laughs> true, you know, it, dragons with their hordes of gold, the only one that really, 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 really seemed to to, to uphold that uh, tradition was um, Neltharium. Um... So yeah, so I'm like, well, why do they got statues of night elves? And you're like, well, you know, it's not like he has Mogu and, uh, and other around. It's not like it's unusual, but you look at this room in particular, and I don't know why it's next to, and maybe I don't want to know why it's next to. Um, <laughs> we don't know what this book is. Why is it next to the weird fetus thing and I'm starting to draw like ideas I'd rather not have about this whole scenario right here um but yeah it's a little, little weird a little creepy um uh, makes you wonder but the other reason why and I'm just not even gonna bother going out the normal way I'm just gonna go right to um Beldraken is two things I gotta get out of my bank, which I meant to get before I came here because I didn't want to go to Feltracking because it's super laggy. Um, are the Ashara, which it's called Clockwork Ashara, so it's definitely Ashara, um, and the Naga book that you find in the Forbidden Reach. Eventually. <sighs> so let's go to do I still have I'm still wearing the thing on my head <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to still be wearing that on my head 
it's not reflecting, it's not really making rooms dark, so it's just on my head, which is very strange. It's not my transmog, that's a... Though there is a transmog that looks just like that. Um, that is a... Thing from the dungeon. That's funny. Okay. I guess because I didn't go out the door, I guess, maybe? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, no one here to get. And eh, things haven't loaded yet. It is an okay, champion. is this duck wearing a top hat? Yes, this duck is wearing a top This duck is wearing a top hat. Hum Duck Livingworth the Third. I don't know why this is the first time I'm looking at this, because this is awesome. All right, so. First things first. Uh, I'm going to whine about there not being a um, library tab. It is Song of the Depths we do want to pull out. Um, and because I really would appreciate being able to put my books and letters somewhere and just be able to do that. The other thing I'm going to take out is the Clock of Asharis. Now, you may notice I have 14 of them. That's not even all the ones I've gotten. Now the Clockwork Asharas. Uh, I'm gonna stay in the bank to do this because it's less laggy. The Clockwork Asharas, you get, I think you can get them from other chests, but you definitely get them most frequently from the, um, from the, uh, um, the proto bling trons in um, Ziskara vaults by giving them the Neltharian coins. If you give them a coin, he gives you a little gift box. You open up the gift box, you find paper zeppelins, usually um, some other stuff, usually some some of the crushed rock stuff, and um, and very often not just one Clown Kashara, usually like multiples, like two or three at a time. So I have a whole bunch of these, and and oh, and, and you get Caldore fruitcake. Look, the joke is funny that it kept this long. I get it. Uh, but it's also, it's still tied to Night Elves. So, still a little, I, I don't know. I don't want to make these connections. Clearly, though, Neltharian was... Uh, interested in Night Elf culture to an extent of where he had... Um, was saving up fruitcake and making clockwork statues of their leader um, complete with voice and I, 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 I used one of these last night but yeah I mean it's it's Ashara doesn't look like either one of the statues really but <laughs> I'm assuming she changed her clothes day to day but that yeah, the statue that's, like, the unidentified statue is wearing this outfit. It doesn't have, like, the robe or whatever. But the... Ajara puppets and rejoice. Has a, the, the same, like, one leg is more exposed than the other thing. I think it's safe to say that is definitely Shara, and maybe the other one is questionable. But, yeah, has the ankle bracelet, is barefoot. I mean, I'm trying to get her to stand still so I can get a good look at her. Um, yeah, like, has that, has the, the thigh brace, um, has very much the same ornamentation. I mean, I mean, he even put in the gold eyes. And she's, like, posing and strutting, blowing kisses. I mean... Neltharian is also has a room with a opera, I'm making air quotes, he wrote, where all the other aspects praise him, including Alex Strauss, who calls him handsome. Um, <laughs> and it, you know, it looks like a very poorly written bad play, some bad fanfic, and... Um, I'm going to ignore this banter because it's annoying. And, um, it's, 
Yeah, I mean, if you're going to go do things in secrets for hours on end, um, you need to keep yourself entertained, I suppose. But So, in addition to making toys and clockwork, including a lot of these clockwork Asharas, um, and collecting statues of, of night elves, including one that is very likely Ashara, if not all of them, um, I don't know. It's, it, I, I think it's safe to say he may have had a thing for Ashara. Now, whether Ashara had a thing for him, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think Ashara had a thing for anyone but herself. And one could say Neltharian didn't as well, but there was definitely seems to be some sort of fascination there. I don't know how intentional it is and how much I'm, I'm putting onto it and how much I just love the little drop dramatic. Aw. Aw. She's dead now. Doesn't matter. I have uh, 13 more of those. Now, it does beg the question of. What, if any, relationship did they have? Now, I'm not saying they had a romantic um, relationship at all. Um, if anything, it probably was one-sided, or if it was reciprocal, it was a strategic represent, rep uh, whatever that word is. Anyway, um, and it's hard to say, but here's the thing. During the War of the Ancients 10,000 years ago, and we know Neltharian gave into the corruption now now we know because this expansion 20,000 years ago because that's when the drag they were locked up um and it happened after that and we know where the ancients is 10,000 years ago um, which was the sundering and that's when Ajara's kingdom fell and she was underwater and she was drowned there's the whole um you can look up it up Warbringers, I believe is is uh, one of the like the legacies type video um, where you see her under when she makes a deal with them off, and that's she becomes tentacled, and her followers become tentacled, and they become the Naga. Um, but, but prior to that, what she was doing, what brought a whole war of the ancients, was she was, you know, hanging with the demons. Now, granted, of course, everything is not like she doesn't serve, that's her thing. So she was making deals with the Legion. Um, and which is why eventually her people were getting seriously messed up and um uh Tyrande, Malfurion's horses and eventually with Illidan um uh took her down um but that's what led to the sundering you can actually relive that experience in one of the cataclysm dungeons Not in times, and times comes after it, but it's definitely one of the, the that is wrong thing. Um, and let me find the right expansion. It's Cataclysm, Well of Eternity. So, yeah, you do fight, you fight Queen, Queen of Shard. You, you don't beat her. She just kind of zips off and is like, ha ha. Um, so when they try to bring in Sargeras, that is where everything goes kablooey, and, um, because of the Sundering, which tears the old the main continent of Calendar apart into what we know now, and she goes underwater and is dying, and to her last breath, and it's like, hey, I can help you out, and she's like, yeah, and he's like, you'll serve. Basically, you'll serve me. She's like, no, I don't serve. <laughs> and strikes a bargain with him, which she had for 10,000 years after that, to bring us to the present, or at least until the end of BFA. And more on that in a second. But at that point... I b believe that was also around the... Yeah, Neltharian, his when he finally let everyone know exactly what he was up to and what he was, was that too. I have to read up on that, actually. When he revealed his corruption, when he used the dragon soul again. Let me look that up for a second, just I want to be sure about this. Um, when did... Oh, come on, search. When did Eltharian use the demon soul? Which was the demon soul then. Shortly before the War of the Ancients, 
Okay. Neltharion used the skills of the goblin in order to create an artifact of fruit. Okay. So, shortly before the War of the Ancients. I need a better source of that. Man, you would think there would be more information on this. No. I need... Uh, Wowhead, help me out here. <laughs> yeah, what happened was just yeah, okay, that's it. Um Oh, and this is oh, okay, this is something that's actually revealed during the expansion too. Um That didn't help. <laughs> that was not useful. I need to know more than that. Dragon Soul, okay. Dragon Soul always strikes me as being so damn plain. It's just like a gold disc. You can see it in the, the videos for I I can it's worth looking up. Um he created 10,000 years ago before he became known as Deathwing. He created... Yeah, okay, that was... That's, sorry, getting the order of things straight. He created it with the help of the other aspects, taking a bit of their power into it to use against the Legion. Um, taking parts of every dragon except himself. Uh... And it gave um, the dragons all the ability to but it gave it the ability to control dragons, um, and he was able to kill lots and lots and lots of demons. But then he also turned on the night elves, um, and then Malagos was like, "Whoa!" And he turned on the blue dragons. Um, so yeah, it was. That's what happened, that we, you know, kicked off War of the Ancients. Um, all, whole mess. Um, it's kind of a little, this, this explanation here is a little, uh, a little all over the place, but that's pretty much this, when that happened. Um, was basically kicking off War of the Ancients. So... That's when everyone else finally realized what was up with him. But here's 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 my speculation. Here's what I'm wondering about. Nathan was already under the influence of Nazoth 10,000 years before the War of the Ancients. He clearly had a fascination with um, Ashara. Now, for how long, who knows? They don't really say how old Ashara was before the War of the Ancients. Um, we don't know how old, like, I can probably figure out the math if we talk about when the night, um, the, uh, was it the night trolls, the dark trolls, settled along the, the, uh, well of eternity. That was, that would be the beginning of night elf culture, but, um, of Kaldori culture, but when Ashara was born from that point on, we don't know. Anyway, a long damn time ago, but at least for a long time, um, the dragons were well aware of what was going on with night elves. So finding night elf statues on the dragon elves is not weird. Finding Ashara statues is not weird. Ashara probably um, reigned for a long time before. How long exactly? I don't know. I'm sure it's somewhere it's documented, but I don't know where to look right now. Probably reigned um, Kaldore for hundreds, if not thousands of years before. Um, and it took a while before um, the whole legion became involved. They were, you know, they were practicing perfecting high, um, magic, which is what drew the attention of the Legion. So, meanwhile, um, Neltharin, who's aware of this, you know, this whole thing is going on, um, is already um, cozying up with Nazoth, is already, like, deep into corruption by this point. So, was he trying to like 
influence Nazoth getting a shower. I mean, Nazoth probably would have wanted to go for a shower anyway because she's a damn good ally to have. If you want someone who's ruthless and doesn't care and will do anything to like for power, uh, pretty great to have um, if you can completely control them. Or was there something else going on? Another layer to this? Um, or was that too influenced by Nazoth? Like, did Naltharian have a thing for Ashara? And really, it's those clockwork things that really get me. Um, so, and the statues, and, and I, I don't know about the weird dragon fetus thing, but <laughs> it's, it's that that makes me wonder if, like, Naltharian had a thing for Ashara. Everyone had a thing for Ashara. Um, Ashara is Ashara. Uh, she would probably be amused by that. Um, more than anything. Certainly not flattered, because I don't think she can be flattered. Um, would she have considered an alliance advantageous? Probably, but would not want to bow down to him, and he definitely has an ego problem. I think she does too, but I mean, you know, I don't know. It, it could be an interesting dynamic that was at work there that just is kind of seeping through the edges and showing up in other ways um, in the game. Um, or was like Nazoth saw that there was some interest there and then pushed Neltharian more into that to get Ashara. I mean, maybe Ashara was a real get in all of this. We, after all, can see all possible futures. Um, and we also let him know exactly which future it was when we went back. This is the going theory. When we went um, in uh, the Chromie and Eternus struggle, um, the main quest line in Thaldrasis with the, with the bronze dragon fight. When you go back to Nyalatha, you go back to the Black Empire, um, Nazoth says says, I know you, what you were, what you will be. I will follow him to the dark places, her songs within the deep. Um, it's There's also things that hint at, I mean, it can hint at a lot of things, but can hint at, like, maybe Ashara was the real get. Um, I mean, what, aside from Deathwing just being generally destructive once he was fully corrupted and tearing through everything and tearing everything up, Was he as useful as an Ashara could be? Ashara seems to be more useful. Because even though, you know, she she looks very different now, and she, you know, she's way more powerful than she was back then, and she was real super powerful back then. But maybe she was the goal all along? Um, maybe... I mean, keep in mind, we're talking, cre you know, beings that live millennia upon millennia. Uh, 10,000 years when you live millions of years is waiting a couple of days, maybe at most. Maybe you know, seconds. I'm not going to do the math in my head. But if you live like a million years, if the old gods crash down, I'm not going to grab my book right now, but it was well before 20,000 years ago um, when the Black Empire was, oh, I want to but anyway, and, you know, we're talking at like a, a 10,000 year span here. It's nothing. He hardly, on his author, would have had to barely wait on going on his timeline. For us, it's like, wow, I can't even imagine that much time. Um, even if we have characters that, you know, in our brains, we like, um, Arleia's not 10,000 years old. She's not that old. But, you know, if you're playing a character that may be, I mean, the Drac the if you're playing a Drac Theer, you're playing a character that's at least 20,000 years old, even if they didn't live through most of it. So, but yeah, it's just, I'm just curious, it's just curious to think about if Ashara was the real get in all of this. So, what, I do have something else to look at. Um, well, first let's... Let's look at the book. You find this in the Forbidden Reach amongst in one of the Naga areas. Um, rise, rise, our queen calls to us from beyond the Umbral Vale. 
we know the Umbrella Veil basically refers to darkness, shadow, void. Um, she has transcended the Circle of Stars, which was the place you fought Ashara and the, um, the uh, uh, BFA raid, and basked in her eternal grandeur. So this seems like it's now talking about, this has been written more recently than the events of BFA. The time you have long awaited is nigh. Even now the harbinger harbing gathers the children of the first flesh to reclaim what was lost. They must remember their vows and turf those to whom they owe fealty. Not sure what that's in reference to, who the harbinger, har harbinger is. Um, harbinger? <laughs> who the harbinger is. Um, could be Iridicron, could be Sarkolath, Sar could be... Uh, yeah, not sure. Um, could be someone else that are not a rape, like could be Ashara. Um, and but it seems like it's separate from our queen, who pretty sure that's Ashara. While they toil in the deep places, we will journey to the shores of the Dragonlands, to the Blessed Isles where the Worldbreaker first embraced the Whispers. So we know the Worldbreaker definitely is 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 definitely. We know the Whispers is referring to as well. Or at least corruption from the old gods. Um, well, they told in the deep places that could be the Jardin. Um, as one storm recedes, another rises. The torches have been lit. The secrets he buried will strike the dragon to the hearts of his kin. And you've heard that you've heard some of the language that before. If you've seen the 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 ten point oh seven. Um, video where they go he kept he kept so many secrets um, even from them so the harbinger speaks of primal so harbinger is currently active um, speaks of primal power that seeks to end seeks the end of order such rage can be bent to serve our end so it doesn't look like they're working with the harbinger so much but that they plan on using what the primalists are doing. We don't know who the harbinger is. Don't think it's Ashara. It's 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 someone else. It feels like it's an agent between the incarnates and the Naga. A dark heart left open awakes the taking. Not sure which one that is. Uh, the hunger lost sages will be reclaimed. Theories on that is that that's um, Galakond. Um, Dark Heart Left Broken awaits taking. Some theories say that's Sarge, which means we bring that, that that's the one that um, Garrosh tinkered with in Pandaria. The reason for the Shah. Um, when these things come to pass, the Harbinger will fulfill the final prophecy and complete the awakening. The awakening of what? Um, only then shall occur and return to where is of that only then shall our queen return to reign over sea and sky and earth. We must make ready, rise, rise soon. All that will hidden will be revealed. So, and all eyes will be opened. Um, the Nazoth quote. I'm not saying these are, that's what it's referring to, but that's what it makes me think of. Um, when these two things come to pass, so what we're waiting for is a hunger loss of the ages will be reclaimed. And a dark heart left broken awaits the taking. So, yeah, I'm not sure, but this is what we're waiting to happen before Ashara returns. If the queen refers to Ashara, there's theories also that it might refer to Zalata, who was the um, who was the uh, uh, void agent who was in the blade that your priest gets. <laughs> In, in Legion, and then you can find again in BFA, and then it leads to a whole thing, and it's the, the dagger Rathian uses to cut over the carapace of Nazoth in um, uh, the final raid. So, so speaking of that blade, <laughs> and I'm going to mute this for a bit, speaking of that blade, um, I meant to actually begin with this, but then I just kind of went off on a tangent, which is, you know, that's never new. Um, speaking of that blade, so momentarily, um, 
And the last, well, the last time we saw it, uh, Rathian had it and he was plunging it into Nazoth. Um, but that was lost. Um, we handed it over like the idiots we were. Zelotath got out of it and was like, see ya, have fun. Um, and then we saw that, depending on which side you were, if you played both sides, you saw all of it. But we do know that at some point, um, the Thanos, under Sylvanas' orders, gave the blade to Ashara. And then another deal was made where Ashara pretty much agreed to give the blade to Rathian, or at least us, and then he took it so he could do his thing. Um, yeah, the good, the, it was a good thing, we think. <laughs> One of the few. But I have here queued up, and hopefully I can queue it up and it's not going to look weird when I do this. Okay, here we go. And this is thanks to, um, I want to credit Novel, of course, um, for his amazing work and dedication. Um, as far as, like, in the world of, of lore nerds, um, <laughs> when I first wanted to find out more about the, these characters and this world, I always found myself on novels, on uh, YouTubes. So I was like, I, I didn't even have to think about it. I was like, okay, who has who has definitely got footage of, you know, Nyleth and the Waking City? Uh, enough that actually has after battle dialogue. Like a lot of people do, they compile the videos in game cutscenes, but they don't collect like the dialogue from like in, in the game, like during battles and after battles or anything like that. But when I, when I realized Noble had, I was like, okay, we're good. <laughs> so... We're just going to play, I'm, ju I'm just going to play this part, um, which is immediately after you finish the fight, it's the, um, uh, let me refresh my memory. It's because I can't remember the names of these, these freaking old god things. Um, it is, totally lost my place. It is it is um, Dark Inquisitor Zanesh is the, the boss fight. Um, and after you feat defeat feet after you feat after you defeat um, Dark Inquisitor Zanesh, who has um, Ajara captive and is torturing her and there's lots of void and shadow stuff going on. This is this is what happens. It's we release Ajara to see what she has to offer. We fulfilled our end of the bargain, Ajara. Now honor yours. Mind your tone, whelpling. A queen keeps her promises. Listen closely, as I will only say this once. For all his bluster, Nazoth was ever the weakest of his kin. One vestige of their power yet remains that can be turned against him. I would have driven this blade into his foul heart myself, had you not disrupted my plans. No matter, Zalatath is yours, mortals. Strike true. Should your first blow fail, you will not survive to attempt another. Now go and do what you will. I tire of intermediaries and heralds. The true throne of power beckons, and I intend to claim it. As Dara oh. has a fondness for games, I will examine this dagger for signs of treachery. But for now, let us continue. So, let me switch back. So yeah, um, the last time you see Ashara, she gives you the blade. Um, and Rathian, ironically, doesn't trust her. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and you get to use it to help defeat Nazoth. Um, then she's like, I'm tired of dealing with all you little people. I'm out of here. Opens up a void portal, because that's most definitely void, and zips through. And as far as we know, that is the last time we see her. And now we're hearing about her return after these other two things happen. Um, and when she's talking about she's done dealing with these little people, she's referring to Nazoth <laughs> as one of them. Or at least it's very clear that's what she's doing. And if she's referring to an old god as like, I'm, I'm done with the underlings, she's talking about Void Lords. She's, got, she's going to go seek them out, um, is my guess. Or something bigger than them. Um, which is pretty terrifying stuff. Um, but yeah, so, you know, that's taking that into account and, um, and Neltharian building little clockwork statues to her before all of that is, is interesting. What I'd love to know is all the stuff that happened between, you know, what happened with Ashara and what, um, Deathwing, we'll just call him Deathwing at this point, um, was up to, other than the events in, in, in Warcraft 2, um, were up to afterwards, like, what were they scheming beforehand? What was, there's a whole chunk of time that's unaccounted for, um, in the world, between, um, the Sundering and when these characters reappear when we get, you know, in the game, whether it's, whether it's like the earliest of Warcraft game, like, um, real-time strategy, not just World of Warcraft. So. Yeah, so I'm wondering, um, I don't think if Neltharion had a thing for, uh, Ashara, I do not think it was in any way, um, reciprocated, or if it was, it was purely for manipulative reasons. Um, I'm placing my bets that Ashara was the real get, not Neltharion. Um, again, thinking long game, who's going to be the more powerful asset? Now, granted, the book that was written is heavily cited with the Naga. So the Naga are always going to praise Ashara as the most important thing ever. Like once these other things do their thing and set, set, set the place setting, the queen shall re-enter. Uh, and she's done with dealing with the small fry. And when you consider <laughs> everyone she's dealt with up into that small, small fry, you're like, who is she going after? And it seems like she was 